What's up? I saw a comment in the uh, in the chat that I did not appreciate. You know, I spend at least like three minutes going through music on YouTube a day. Trying to find songs for the intro. I try to find them. I try to find the very best songs I possibly... Maybe I should button this up. What do you think? Button it up a little bit? Maybe a little bit more conservative on my channel? It's not a swingers club, for Christ's sakes. I used to always wear my shirts completely open. Always. No matter where I went. And then, um, I don't know. I just thought, that, that's when I was drinking. I like, I must have thought I was studly. Cause I guess I never looked at myself and realized I was a fat slob. I don't know. Lower the volume, or whatever you're playing back. Listen, Fick. I'll do whatever the fuck I want on my show. You don't have to listen to it. Hit pause or mute till I come on. And you can unmute it and listen to me. Is it pretty loud? I didn't change the volume on it. I just changed the, song that song called california wind i didn't even listen to it i don't even know what it sounds like i have no clue <laughs> i have a bin of like 40 things that i downloaded just like one after another and then i just kind of go through and pick one i don't even know i have no clue what it even sounds like i just listen to it maybe i'll listen to it later <laughs> oh what's going on guys it's thursday can't believe it's thursday already man this week has flown by which has been fantastic took the day off work today I took a little uh, little sick day. I uh, wasn't feeling. Tummy was a little upset when I woke up today. It's a little bit in the tummy. So I decided I would stay home and recuperate so that I could get back to 100% for the vape at 5, which I did. I'm 100%. I'm 100%. 110%, as it were, probably. Have a, a full uh, full belly full of food that doesn't have carbs in it. I ate three times today. Didn't eat a single carb. Don't think I did. At least nothing that said it had carbs in it. Um, lots of meats. Lots of meats, pretty much. That's pretty much what I'm eating. Yeah, I think I've eaten every single animal possible today, with with the exception I didn't eat a fish, but I ate every other animal possible, and uh, they were fucking delicious. So thanks for that, God. They are good food. All right, why don't we say hello to everybody who's in the chat? Well, hold on. First, why don't I adjust my green screen so that my head doesn't keep zapping out i can't stand that I, saw, I i think i have like ocd or some shit oh whoops i don't want to do that take that now there we go there we go that's better okay well let's say hi to everybody in the chat what do you think about that uh wood tick mike should I say hi to everybody in the chat that's what we're gonna do seems all here oh nice healthy little group today i see well, that's nice thanks for joining all andy c vapes what's going on dude good to see you man Ashley Brown. Ashley, what's going on? I got a little package coming out to you. Black Cat White Face. That is this guy, and this guy is on fire. Got a polo on today. You know that? Polo. I already talked about my shirt twice. It's real nice. Did you know you can get polos for like $7 on Amazon? I didn't know that. You can get them for like 7 bucks. They're pretty decent quality. I mean, it's not like, you know, they're not like, you know, Louis Vuitton, but I mean, seven bucks, seven bucks. You can get like every color you want, two of everyone if you want. Yeah, 14 bucks for two shirts. Got me and my dad, got my dad some too. Dad called the other day, he said, hey, Scott, why'd you take all my shirts? I'm like, dad, you wear like a medium. Like, I haven't taken any. Yeah, you did. You went in my closet and took all my shirts. I was like, no, I didn't. When did I do that? He's like, the other day you were over here. I said, dad, I was over there. We went to lunch. I can assure you. I did not take any of your medium-sized shirts. Look, uh, six-year-olds can wear mediums, Dad. Just you. That's it. Old people and, like, nine-year-old kids wearing medium shirts. Grown men in their in the prime of their life don't wear mediums. Some may. If you do wear a medium, I apologize. You're, you're lucky because you're not fat like me. Cameron, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Ka Carolina. Got Carolina on my mind. Carolina Cola Craft. What's going on, dude? Freddie. What's up, brother? How you been, man? Good to see you. Clinton. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. As always, Fick Newton. I got a bone with you, Fick. Talking about my music. I think I already mentioned that. I already mentioned that, didn't I? I'm mentioning it again. You know why I'm mentioning it again? Because I fucking can. Because it's my show. My show! I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. Love you, Nick. Glad you're here, dude. James, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. I saw you the I think I saw you last night on uh, in Heavy's chat. Were you watching Heavy last night? Had a couple giveaways. My buddy, um, Johnny Drips, is on that show. So I, I tuned in to watch him, and uh, he had uh, Jay on there. Jay Hayes yesterday. I like him. 
listen to him a little bit. Yeah, I think he's funny. Uh, Jesse, what's up, dude? Jesse's got a package for you, too. Special one. If you're going to like it. Uh, some of it may be considered dangerous by the U.S. Postal Service, but I won't tell if you don't. Joey O, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Josh Rhodes. What's up, Josh? Good to see you, man. Still vaping your juice. Fucking fantastic. I don't know why you're not in business, because shit. This stuff is fucking awesome. Um, I actually just broke out the uh, My Strawberry Cream. Can't really see it, because it'll whiten out. My Strawberry Cream. I've been vaping on this. I'm not a big strawberry fan, but this is really good, man. Great job. Uh, Church. What's up, man? Church. Now, if Church shows up tomorrow, which I hope he does, you're not going to win anything, because Church is a lucky SOB. A guy wins every day, every week. Good to see you, Church. Ozzy, what's up, man? Stand Up 3D is here as well. Something is amiss. Are there two? Jesse, did you clone? Did you did you did you build, did you build, a, did you build another one of yourself on your on your plastic machine there? Your plastic what's that thing called? Your 3D printer, the plastic machine? Did you did you did you 3D print yourself? And log and did it did that 3D print itself log into into YouTube? Could have, I don't fucking know. Steve, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Thanks for joining Stoozy Stew. What's up, Dan? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Suck my doc tip, bro. <laughs> What's up, Austin? How you doing, man? Vapix! Brother, good, really good to see you, Vapix. I hope everything's going good, man. Missed you. I was looking, been looking for you. Been looking for you! Like you owe me money, but you don't. You don't owe me money. If you did, I, I would be looking for you, but I was looking for you just in general. Tommy! What's up, dude? Tommy V. I hope everything's good. Tommy, uh, Tommy had a little uh, catastrophe. It's the weather. I don't know if you heard about that. Fuck. Posted some picture on Facebook today, man. Tornadoes. That's crazy. I didn't even know Connecticut got tornadoes. You know what I mean? Like, East Coast? I know Ohio gets them, but not that much. Um, and, like, of course, like, fucking out west, like the, uh, you know, tornado belt. Is that what they call it? Out in Oklahoma, Kansas. You know, um, the area out there. Vaping with Ken. My man. What's up, Vaping with Ken? I talked about Vaping with Ken before I came on. I'm like... Uh, I'm like, I think he said, what are you doing today on your show? I was like, well, I'm going to do an alien stag. He's like, I really don't have anything else to talk about. He's like, I was like, do you have any ideas? He gave me this whole list of like things to talk about. It's like, no wonder you're successful on YouTube, Ken, because your brain is like moving a million miles per minute with ideas. Like my brain was like, uh, I don't know what to talk about at all. Like I didn't have any ideas. He's like, try this, try this, try this. <laughs> Ken, I'm glad you're here, brother, man. Thanks. Uh, what took Mike? What's up, dude? How you doing, Mike? Great to see you, man. All right. We said hello to everybody. There's a lot of people here today. You know what we got going on tomorrow? Did I ever mention this? Have I ever mentioned what happens on the Vape at 5 on Friday? Did I ever mention that? I hope I did. Because it is free Friday tomorrow. Free Friday. Meaning you ain't got to pay shit. I got to pay shipping to get this shit out to you. Should be appreciative about that. But you, as a viewer of my channel, my show, you get some free stuff that I'm happy to give to you this week. The featured builder is Juan Castillo. Juan has hooked us up with an amazing giveaway. The best giveaway, one of the best giveaways we've had on this show so far. We, and we've had some good ones. Josh has had some great ones. Um, you know, we've had some good ones all around, some great coil builders, not trying to take away from any of that, but I'm telling you tomorrow's giveaway is fan fucking tastic. We've got a squonk mod. I've got all the stuff already separated and packaged, ready to go. Um, right here is everything. So there's 200 milliliters of, uh, hometown vapor juice. There is this 3G vape squonk mod. Now, I showed this thing off the other day. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I'm really thinking about going and buying one, and I don't even like squonk ones. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that thing. Isn't that beautiful? It has that really nice, soft squonk bottle in there. The guts of it are just absolutely amazing, man. So well put together. I mean, it really they really did a fantastic job. You can tell this is not one of those little cheap Chinese joints. This is one of those, like, made in America, nice ass little squonk mod. And three sets of his coils, which let me tell you, if you've never, anybody who's, who's vaped um, Juan's coils in the chat, please back me up here. They are, when I say perfect, 
They are fucking perfect. Um, the guy is truly an artist. And I'll tell you what, he's just a craftsman. When it comes to building coils, he is a craftsman. Um, so you're going to get all that tomorrow. Plus, you're going to get a Black Cat Care package, which includes a shirt, a towel, and three sets of my coils. And, as always, you will get a gift certificate for $25 to Adore E-Liquid, the best e-juice on earth. E-Liquid on earth. Thank you, Don. All right. That is tomorrow. To enter Juan's contest giveaway, you have to go onto Juan's page and repost a picture from his from his page. Repost it with the hashtag Black Cat Fam in order to enter. Tomorrow, if you have done that, you'll be eligible to win the Juan's giveaway. If you have not done that and you happen to win, I'm not going to give it to you because you did not follow the rules of the giveaway. So, please, go do it. If you've done it once, do it again because all you're doing is helping a fantastic builder who is a fantastic guy, if you know him, uh, get his name out there and get his coils out there. So, please, do it once, do it twice, do it three times. A lady. That's Kenny Rogers. I listened to a lot of Kenny Rogers when I was a kid, man. Actually, one of my buddies calls me, the, calls me, uh, what's he calling me, the gambler? Something like that. Calls me Kenny Rogers because he said my beard's all gray and shit. I don't know if I can Kenny Rogers, man. Kenny Rogers had tons of hair and it was beautiful. Remember Kenny Rogers' hair? You guys know who Kenny Rogers is? Half of you guys probably don't know who he is. You know what? If you're my age, you know who Kenny Rogers is. He's a fucking badass. The Gambler, ever heard that song? Beautiful song. He was in a movie called Six Pack, where he drove a race car, took care of six kids. Don't advise that. All right, so. What's up, Roger? How you doing, man? Oh, anybody else who snuck in here? We are going to do an alien stag. Now, the one thing about an alien stag, it's really not that hard. It's hard. It's really, really hard to do well. Um, it's really, really hard to get it right and do a good one. But as far as the build in general, it's really just a spaced alien. And then you space another alien over it. Um, the one thing about this build that I, that I thought about when I was pulling all my wire out is you honestly need, let's see, five different reels of wire to do this build. Five. Five different sizes. Um, you need your original is going to be a, is a 28 gauge uh, alien spaced. So I need, I need 28 gauge. I'm going to wrap that in 36 gauge spaced. Next, I'm going to take two 27 gauge, frame it again, and I'm going to wrap that in 38 gauge. So there's four different reels you need. The fifth reel you need is 24 gauge for the second decor because 328s plus 227s comes out to like 0.59 after you divide it by three, 0.58. And 24 is like 0.51, so it's kind of right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and use 24 for the decor, or for the for my decor for the second one. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't know. I I think I've only done like two or three of these, um, so I don't know how long it's going to take me to do. But um, let's go ahead and start, and that way I'll make sure that I get it done and I don't have to be rushed. All right. So first thing we're going to do is make a, a, a 28 gauge Clapton. So let me get a piece of 28 gauge here. And then we'll frame three pieces of 28 gauge and I'll make a, uh, make a spaced alien. We'll see how that works out. Had a fantastic, man, I'll tell you, I've been like having fantastic days day after day after day in a row here. I probably had like 20 fantastic days in a row, maybe with a couple of like fuck ups in between. Stayed home today. I was on, I went on Instagram for about an hour and built, I was doing a build for the giveaways. I actually built like about three hours today, which was really, really nice. So I just got to do it by myself. Like, like nobody else here it was just me. Um, yeah. So I just relax, listen to music. And then my kids got home from vacation. Now, they were supposed to get home last night. <laughs> they did not quite make it last night. When they got back from their vacation, 
they went to start their automobile and the battery was dead because they left one of the doors ajar and the light burned out of the car. Go figure. So about, oh, I don't know, 1, 1.30 in the morning last night, 1.45 in the morning, we get a call that they're stuck at the airport and they can't go anywhere because their, <laughs> their car battery died. And as any good parent would, would, I said, fuck them, and rolled over and went back to sleep. So, I, I actually did do that. But they got, they, uh, at the airport, believe it or not, they have like a roadside assistance thing for free. So the guy came and jumped them and got them out of there. But just like a bunch of kids, I was like, you know, th- something's always going to go wrong. You know what I mean? Like. You can't ever, like, just expect nothing to go wrong, like, when kids go on vacation or kids try to do anything by themselves. You know what I mean? Like, you just, I just knew, I just knew something go wrong. And that's the only thing I know about that went wrong. There's probably other things that went wrong, but they didn't tell me. So, my kids got home at, uh, they didn't come here, though. They went over to my, uh, my daughter's house to stay the night. They didn't come back here, thank God. Didn't wake us up. I was fucking tired. Then when I woke up today, I just didn't, just didn't feel like I could make it. Just did not feel like I could make it out of the house to make it to work. So uh, I just took the day off. Took a nice little, nice little day off. Relaxed. Had some, uh, made some. I made three different lunches today. Ate all three. Made three different lunches. I'll tell you what's good when you're really, really hungry. One good, one thing that's good to do. I'll try this. Is I have a whole jar full of like jalapenos chopped up. They're pretty hot. I mean, they're not super hot, but you know jalapenos. Jalapenos are pretty hot. And uh, if you put those, I just put those on everything. Everything. Just douse them in jalapenos. And it, like, takes away, takes away your hunger. Hey, what's up, Kenny? How you doing? Miss Steven, what's up? Merlin, what's up? Thanks for joining, guys. I think, Joey, I think I saw you already. Yeah, you were in the, you were here when, when I first got on. Yeah, jalapenos will take hunger away. Because, like, something about the heat, like, makes you, like, full. It makes you not hungry anymore. All right, so I'm going to clap. This is uh, 36 gauge over 28 for my first alien. Lord, what in God's name is going on with this reel? Holy shit. It is like, oh my God. Well, I probably should throw this thing away. This thing is all jacked up. I mean, it's not a good Clapton at all. I don't know. I might just throw this reel away. I don't know what the hell happened to it. I mean, it's a... I don't know. It's a decent Clapton. But I put it on there mad tight because it kept catching. All right. So we're going to cut it right here. All right. So there's my first alien. Or my first Clapton. Now, let's take this piece of 28, and I'm going to cut off two more pieces of 28. So let's just cut the end off this here. And I'm just going to, I'm basically going to frame this thing like I normally would. The one thing you have to think about, though, I don't really want to stop once I go. So when I do this, like, I'll put the macro up here. But quite frankly, you're not really going to see it because you'll see the beginning. But once I start going with it, I'm just going to keep going. Like, I probably won't stop to move it because... As you guys know, anything with spacing is a pain in the ass. You know what I mean? If I stop, it's going to fuck my spacing up. So once I get that that angle, I'm probably just going to, I'm probably just going to keep rolling with it. So let's prep three 28-gauge cores. Try to get these as good as I possibly can. And I only need, I'm only doing one. So I'm only going to need a, about six inches. That's what... She said, and after she said that, 
Hey, Chessie, what's up? Thanks for joining, hon. I was a little early today, Chessie. A little early. I started about 4.50. Trying to keep you on your toes. I had a really good that's what she said, but I missed it because I got distracted. <laughs> Oh, I know what I need to tell you guys. Something extremely serious. So I've been bragging about doing that presentation. Like, I was really excited about it. But I called off today. They had a planning meeting about it today. I missed it. So I got, they fucking took it away from me. I was mad as hell. Got an email. I looked at my email. It's like, ah, well, we're going to have to give this presentation to somebody else. I was like, no! I was mine! They took it. They gave it to somebody else. So I don't have to do that, which is kind of cool because I have to drive to New Jersey that day. Like, I have to drive, like, for, like, nine hours. And I really wanted to leave early. Like, I, I, I didn't want to, like, stay till 5 and then drive 9 hours after 5 o'clock. You know what I mean? So, if I can leave it, if I can stick out of there at, like, noon, that'd be fucking sweet. And the, the, the thing doesn't start until, like, 2.30. Who does that on a Friday? Who has, like, a big meeting like that on a Friday? What a dick. You, sir, are a complete dick. And I love you. Don't ever believe that I said that about you, boss. You're awesome. I mean that really awesome nah what a, i mean why would you do that why would you have a meaning that like that that's just that just makes no sense to me but life in general most times does not make any sense to me all right we're gonna get six and a half inches here that's what she said and she was extremely satisfied after she said that all right, that's all I need. I'll put this piece over here to use for another decor when need be. Grab my 328s. I cut them all at about six and a half inches. Looks like I cut one a little longer than the other ones. No, I didn't. And I'm just going to set this up just like I would normally. So let's get this all set up here. Using my glue gun to get it set up. Oh yeah. Can you can you hear my family upstairs yelling at each other? Can you hear can you guys hear it? Like literally, they're all up there. They call it talking. They're all just sitting around fucking yelling at each other. Hope you deliver to the UK. What? I mean, if you want to pay half, I will. What's up, sport? How you doing, Giz? Do you hear them yelling? Can you hear them? They're just sitting around yelling at each other. For no fucking reason. At all. Like, no reason. Like, they're literally, like, talking about, like, uh, I don't know. Like, shopping. Or getting grocery shopping. And that's how they talk. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is wrong? What is wrong with my family? And what did I do to fucking deserve this? Because I do not, this is way more than I fucking signed up for here, guys. If you could imagine me, like, up there, when they're all yelling at each other, I'm just like this. They're all yelling at each other, and I'm literally just sitting there like this. Fuck me. All right, just get up and walk away. Go in the bedroom and lay down. What are you doing in here? Nothing. Searching for fucking serenity somewhere other than out in the living room with you guys. All right, so I got the 28 gauge. Let me get this uh, framed up. Wait a minute, Giz's birthday today? You guys can't hear him? Oh, you guys can't hear him? Oh, thank God. It's really loud. Like, I can hear them clear as day. I was hoping I kind of could hear him, so then I could play it back for him and be like, this is how fucking loud you are. I think I'm going to tell them to shut the fuck up. Maybe. Nah. It's not worth it. All right. So I got one slider. I'm going to put another one on it. Even though I'm probably not going to need it nor use it. But we'll go ahead and put one on here anyway. Just to be safe. And I'll leave one up by the chuck. And then I'll just use my other one as the working slider. The key to this thing is though I really don't want to stop. Once I get the angle for the space that I want, I just want to roll with it. All right, move that back here. All 
Okay, let's trim this up a little bit. Okay, I mean, can you hear him? Hold on one second, please. I'll be right back. I think they heard me. They just yelled gay. <laughs> what does that have to do with being happy? Me yelling, telling them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Can you guys shut the fuck up? That's one of, the, one of my favorite things to say to someone. Can you please shut the fuck up? <laughs> Such a loving thing for a father to yell at his family. What happened to my other glue stick? This, I'm going to have to get up and get one. This could be a glue gun foul. This could literally be a glue gun foul right here. This could be something that is a negative of the... Oh, no, there's some glue in there. I had another glue stick, though. I don't know where it went. Hmm, let me just see if I can get another one. All right. Ooh. I'm back in business. See, this right here, let me show you guys something real quick. Every glue gun, or every piece, every glue stick needs a home. This is the glue stick's home, right there, in the back of my glue gun. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, so I got to stay home today. It's pretty nice. Ate a lot today, which was pretty nice. And then I decided I was going to do the alien stag next week, but I decided to go ahead and do it today. Figured what the heck. I mean, I pretty much did aliens all day today. I bet you I did. I bet you I did 20 sets of aliens today. Yeah. No, not 20, but at least 10. At least 10 sets of aliens, just one after another. And it was like, which I didn't really mind it just because it was kind of, uh, hey, what's up, Drew? Whistle, international use of glue gun, 1,500 feet. <laughs> That's for what you get for using glue sticks, dude. I got my purple glue sticks. Whitney is on here. Hi, Whitney. And Veronica's on here. Oh, did you guys? Where you got? Did you guys quiet down up there? Is that what you did? That that is my family, and now they're on here because I told them to shut the fuck up. So get ready for chaos to ensue. Um, Drew, if they start getting out of line, fucking uh, hide them both. Hide them both, please, immediately. Post haste. Oh, no. Now I hear them giggling. I can only imagine what's happening. I gotta look up and see what they said. Hold on. Ruining my show! You guys are ruining my show! Don't ever yell at me. I'll kill your black eye with <laughs> my face. Hit me! That's not very nice. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so. Let me get this all set up here. And I'm going to stretch this out. And we're going to do the first Clapton, or the first Alien. I'm going to try to leave it spaced. Just freehand it. Um, there's a way you can do it that Tame Dragon does that you do with the loop method. Um, and I talked to him about it a little bit, but uh, I haven't really tried it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it normal. Um, but he does his, and it actually comes out perfect. So... Sounds kind of. It sounds like it takes a lot of time, though. I don't know if I would actually have time to be able to do everything if I did that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it freehand. So I'll just try to get a nice space on it. Let's see if I can. I got to get everything out of the way here and see if I can get you guys up here so you can see it. But I don't know if it'll. I'm not going to be able to move it. 
So, we'll just have to go with whatever I can get. Whoops. What in the fuck is that, Whitney? What in God's name are you doing? There it is. All right, so let's see here. That's pretty good. All right. So, we have a vape. We'll try this out. God only knows what they're doing. <laughs> Muslim. How is a Muslim cloth brought up? How is that even brought up? Who brought that up? The Muslim cloth. Muslim. Is it, it's Muslim, but it's spelled Muslim. It's spelled the same way, isn't it? You guys are awful. All right. Muslim, shut the fuck up! They're up there yelling. They're up there laughing at me. Oh, it's all kind of spaced out. Let me move that down. Hold on. Move that here. Let's do this. There we go. All right, so move this down here. Get this. And let me crush this out real quick. Starting to mohawk a little bit, so I'm just going to stretch it a bit more. And we'll get this going. You know what? I'm just going to skip this part and go around it. And I'll use this one. All right. So let me just... That's the space I want. Move you guys down. So I got it pretty good once I got it going. It clinged up a little bit there. But we'll roll with it. Because I'm going to use 38 gauge as the outer. So I think it'll still... Okay, that's what I forgot, is you have to do it fast. Doing it fast is much easier. Okay, so that looks much better after that part. 
Unfortunately, though, the worst part of it is in the middle. Let me see how much I got here. So I can go back to there. How bad is it there? Okay, after this fuck up here, it's actually pretty decent. Look down here. That's how my spacing looks once I started going faster. That's what it looks like. So it worked out a little bit better. And that's how I want it to look right there. But unfortunately, I don't have enough to keep going. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it and then we'll do it anyway and just see how it looks. So let's cut this off of here. Then we'll reframe it with some... Reframe it with 27 and see how it looks. So even though it didn't do it, even though it didn't work out that great, I want to see how it looks once I get everything together. Why is there a chunk missing? Because I fucked up, Whitney. <laughs> so I'm too busy listening to you guys. No, because I should I forgot. So I should have went fast the whole way down. It makes it much easier. I was trying to go slow and like control the spacing instead of just letting it do it itself. So now I'll take this. I'm just going to bend it out, get it nice and flat. Ooh, that does not look that great. We're going to use it anyway, but it does not look that great. Let's see if I can get this straightened out a little bit. So the next thing you got to do is flatten this thing out. Like I have to get this thing flat in order to reframe it. So let's get down here and just do that by taking two pairs of pliers. Okay, that looks all right. All right, let's get this frame thing framed up again. And then, like that wasn't enough fun, I got to make another Clapton in order to try to go over it. So, get that out of the way. Get this back over here. Hey, Raven, what's up? Mini Scott looks funny. <laughs> Mini Scott is awesome. Thought you knew. Ooh, that 27 is tough to straighten. All right, so grab this here. So a scale of 1 to 10, that first is about a 4. But I'm not going to do it again just for the sake of time. It's already 41. So just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it, and we'll just try to get it. See how it looks. If it looks good, we'll keep it. If it doesn't, then... I mean, I'll just throw it away. No big deal. It's really not that complicated of a build once you get the stagger. Because what happens is with the second one, it just falls into place. It's really nice. So I just could get this framed up right. Here. Now to frame this, I'm going to do what I always do and put a piece of 40 gauge around it. But then I'm going to glue the living shit out of it to get it nice and flat. So we get a piece of 40 gauge. All right. Now with this, you can't really use sliders on this because of the stag. But I'll use uh, some of my little mini clothespins that I like so much. And that will keep it nice and flat. All right, so let me glue the hell out of this thing real quick. Dr. Black Cat. Let's see. I can show you all three. Hold on. Watch this. Oop. How's that? That's what I was trying to use the other day when I was doing that, uh, the review. I figured out, though, how to do it. I figured out how to do uh, RDA reviews, like where it looks okay. Um, I worked on it today while I was home. I figured it out. So it'll be a lot better next time. What's up, It's Me Dude? How you doing, man? 
Okay, so got that on there. And literally, this is literally like four inches of coil here. So, well, a little bit more now. It's about five. All right, so I'm gonna move this all the way down. And I'm gonna take a couple clothespins here. Clothespin it together, so my mini clothespins. I'm gonna put one down here by the glue. That's nice and tight. Okay, so pull. They're up there yelling again. It only worked for so long, and then they just start yelling again. Okay, that's on there. here and we glue the end and then we'll give it a shot see how it works oh I gotta make the Clapton still so what I'm gonna do is make a Clapton over 24 gauge with 38 and that's gonna be that's gonna be the decor that I use for this Hold this up a little bit All right. that should be enough so that's basically it right there that is, shoot, man. It's literally like just over four and a half inches. So it's only one coil. Kind of nice though, because it lets you control it a little easier. The only thing is it gives you like no room for error. Like I, if I'd have made enough for two, then if I that fucked up the first one, I'd have been able to get the second one. Actually, probably what I should have done, but oh well. It is what it is. All right, so that's that. Let's put a... Piece of ribbon laying around. I do. Is that ribbon? Yeah. Put a piece of ribbon on the front here just to start it out. All right. That's that. Okay, set that to the side. Let's make a real quick Clapton. And we'll be pretty much done. What happened? What did Raven do? Congratulations. What happened? Hey, Charles, what's up, dude? If you feed them cheese, they won't yell as much. I know, right? What did you win last night, Raven? Stack Scots. <laughs> yeah. Try to feed them cheese. Dude. I don't know what. Feed them, uh, what's that shit called? I <laughs> think the, um, roof and all. That's something fucking OJ used. Fucking knock all the women out. Roof and all. <laughs> fucking feed them some of that. God sakes. Shut the fuck up. Nah. It's cool. They're excited to see each other. Mom hasn't seen them in like over a week and she was wigging. The whole like it's when they were gone. Like for me, it was nice for me. It was actually nice for her too to have a break. But she was like excited for him to get back. I was like, oh, they're back. Great. <laughs> That's a, and that is the big difference between dads and moms. Dads are like, okay, you're back. Great. Congratulations. Go take the trash out. Go to the yard. Go do something for me. Moms are like, oh, my babies are back. That's what she said. They're literally like, our youngest is 18, and they're like, oh, my baby's back. They're not babies anymore. They are grown adults. Just ask any court of law. They are adults. Can you go over what you're doing? It? Yeah. No, Benadryl for kids. Hell yeah. Um, so I'm doing a uh, alien stag, Raja. Um, so what you do is you stagger. You basically make an alien over a regular like three core alien. Like I picked 28 gauge. So I made a spaced alien over 28 gauge. Then you take another, you frame it again, 
Okay, and you do another alien over that, like try to get it in the spaces. So it's not really that hard. It's a pretty easy build. Um, the actual, I think the person who actually redid it first was Ramo. I think Ramo's the first one to do this build. I think it's his build. Um, and he does it really, really good, but it, it's only been around for like maybe four months, five months. Uh, I've done it a couple times. Both of them turned out okay. One of the picture, the picture I have up for my, uh, the picture I have up for my icon is one of the alien stags I did. That was actually the first one I did. Okay. So now I got to do is make a decor. So basically, I'm mean, it's going to take me like two minutes to do the fill this to stagger the rest of it when I'm done. And then I'll wrap it up and we'll take a look at it and see how that looks. Because we know what it looked like before I did it, how it's kind of fucked up. We'll see if it looks still fucked up. Sometimes you'll be surprised. You'll make a mistake like that on a coil, but just go ahead and finish it anyway. Because sometimes you'll, you'll look at it. It doesn't really won't look that bad or you won't be able to tell. It actually looks kind of good. So I always, even if I fuck up like that, although typically I would probably do it again if I had time. Um, but a lot of times you can do it. Hey, Tim, what's up, man? A lot of times you can do it. Jeremy, what's up? You can do it again, and it or just go ahead and do it, and it looks okay. All right, so let's go this way on two. All right, so get a 38 gauge decor off of 24. That's way more than enough. Let's get this, cut this here. Let's spin it back. All right, put this away. I can put everything away now. Get it all out of my way. Can't fall back. And 38 gauge back. Okay, let's see how loose that is. Oh, it's nice and loose. All right, so let's cut this off. And there's that to the side now i got to get this all set this whole thing set up so there's my 38 gauge and that's literally all i have is that just a tiny ass decor so grab this here i remember i made a loop i used the wire to frame it so i made a loop with that so i'd have something to put the uh off. I'm just going to cut this to go into my chuck. All right, there we go. Now I'll stick this in my chuck. Oh, you know what I did? Shoot. Yeah, I did. Damn it. Okay, so let's get that out here. I thought I had a piece. I thought I put a piece of ribbon in it. I did. Son of a bitch. All right, I got to cut this loose. Oh, maybe not. Here, gotta try to keep this thing framed as best I can. All right, there we go. Okay, let's try it again. Take this here. Woo, that's it's one to turn on me. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so what we're going to do, okay, I'm going to do this again. Take this off of here. And I'm just going to cut that off. Okay. All right, so let's glue this again. Or, yeah, do it one more time. So what happened was the end of it started turning on me. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of it off and redo it. Put a little bit of glue. And we'll 
to try it again. There we go. Yeah, as soon as I put it in the chuck of the drill, like the alien turned one way against the frames, I was like, shit. I did not expect that to happen. So I just cut some of it off. Oh, he did it back in Coil Wars. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew he did it first. I didn't know when he did it, though. Well, that's pretty cool, man. That's a while ago. All right. So. Put that there. And my other one, I will put... Okay, that should be plenty. All right, let's get this thing stretched out and we'll give it a shot. Okay. Put this one here. And it literally is enough for one coil. So I have no room for error. <laughs> like all this, there's not going to be any I can cut off. So let's see how it goes. I may. I may have overstretched it. Today has just not been my day. And it's funny because I built like a shitload of stuff today. I think it's just because I'm hurrying. All right, get this back a little bit. Let's see how this looks. Oh, there we go. All right, so you see where the groove is there. So let's go ahead and start it. Why does it keep doing that? Hmm. All right. Move that back. Get rid of this one. All right. So here's basically this is going to be the coil part. So I need to actually do this one fairly good. There we go. All right. Too far. There we go. There we go. down with it. Okay, there we go. So I would say that some of it. Let me get this back up here, and then I'll bring it up, and we'll see how it looks. Hey, Juan, what's up, dude? What's up? Almost done, dude. And then we'll see how this looks. So this was certainly not one that I'm too happy with, but it's really it's not one of those you can really mess up. You know what I mean? Because it's not as long as you don't do alien. I mean, just space it and you space it again, and if it catches that groove, see, this is really small. It's three and a half inches. Wow, it's not even three and a half inches is all I got from it. So let's look under the macro and see how it looks. I'm curious to see how this looks under the macro. Let's take a look at it real quick. Go back to the macro. Okay, so let me hold it here so you can do that. 
there it is so why can't you focus so there it is so it looks pretty good when I got it I got it but then there's like spots I didn't get it at all that look really terrible and I feel like if I would have done a bigger one and and just like where I could have like tested it in the beginning and then just went ahead and done it you know what I mean like do one is kind of like the beginning of it as a feeler to get the way I want it to look I would have had more of a a shot at getting it. Doing a smaller one was definitely not in things do so. I'm going to wrap this on a two and a half. Uh, to try to do a five wrap on a two and a half. We'll see how it looks. I know some of it, some of it looked pretty good though. I'm actually kind of happy with how some of it looks. Let's just barely put that in there. We watched this. Um, I started watching this show last night on Netflix called Safe. Have you guys seen this? Like an English like drama. It's fucking crazy. Hey Juan. It's like this. It's fucking crazy. What's up, Addy? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Almost done, guys. Did the alien stag today. You know what? And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one Monday too. Um, I hate to do that to you guys, but I, I know it's just like I do so many builds, like who cares? I'll do one Monday and uh I'll take what I learned from this one. Like, I'll do more, and I'll see if I can get it to look a little better. It's because I feel like it really wasn't, I don't know, really wasn't worth. I can't really give it away, I don't think. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't doesn't look good. You know what I mean? Kind of be a rip, jip to give it to somebody. So I'll make another one on Monday and do, I'll, I'll do better. I'll do better that time. <laughs> I'll do better, though. All right. Let's get this up here. Wrap this up. And see how it looks. Okay, that's that. I'll tell you, it, it is a thick ass coil, man. My God. All right, there it is. Ha. <laughs> All right. Ooh, God, from like 10,000 feet, from looking at it from up here, it looks fucking awful. Hold on, we'll see how it is. It looks bad from up here, though. Real bad. Oh, I probably should have rolled it out first. You know what I mean? Rolled it out? I, I didn't do that. Fuck, I always forget things. Forgetful! Is Tommy still on here? Are they doing a No Fucks Vaping tonight? I know that Fresh is on tonight at 9. I wondered if... Uh, We need to get you a cat onesie. I, that would be fantastic, Raja. And not something I would ever wear. <laughs> All right. Woo! Lordy, lordy. Oh, lordy, lordy. That's not going to win any beauty contest. That's for goddamn sure. Damn. Like, this over here looks okay. Like, if I just were to just take a picture of, like, that, like, the first two lubes, she'd be like, hey, it looks pretty good, Scott. Ooh, that looks bad. But you get the idea. This, and I will show you what happens to coils that I do that to. So I will do it again on Monday, but this one goes into the trash <laughs> and it's really it's really not that hard of a build it really is pretty easy i don't want like you to like think oh you didn't get it because it was really hard now i didn't it didn't it wasn't anything to do with it being hard it's just i fucked it up which happens you guys know me all too well but it's really not that hard and it's kind of fun and if you get it it looks really cool that's one thing about it an alien stag looks really fucking cool and i'll tell you it gets a lot of uh, a lot of people like it so if you want to give it a shot, it's definitely one to give a shot to. And if you can do an alien, you can do it. Swear to God, you can do it. Yeah, I think Nick's got one. Nick did one. He did his pretty good. That's freaking beautiful, Scott. Thanks, Juan. Punch is being nice. Punch is like, uh, that looks like I made it. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I tell you, it's hard to get up here getting heckled by my family, yelled at. 
They're up there all yelling at me. Probably watching me right now, getting ready, planning some kind of mass like attack when I go up the stairs. This guy can't do it. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Still, it's not that hard. It really is not that hard. I got it. Like the first two times I get it, I did it. I got it both times. I got a duel, so I mean, it's not hard at all. I just, I just fucked it up. Because it, basically, what happens is once you get your original, once you get your original spacing, right? Which spacing's easy. Once you get the original spacing, then the second one just falls in right behind it. You know what I mean? It just goes right into those stacks. As long as you keep your angle good and just go right down the, um, right down the wire, it's really not that hard. I'll do one Monday. Were you drunk when you made that? Freddie? It's not a nice question. For somebody who tried to destroy their life with alcohol. Twice. <laughs> oh, well. Shit happens. At least we had a show. Yeah. Been an hour of show. Freddie. <laughs> All right, guys. That is your Vape at Five for Thursday. Now... The big thing about this show to remember is the giveaway for tomorrow. Okay, I mentioned it in the beginning. Go to Juan's page, repost. There's a po there's two posts on my page about it. Go to Juan's page. Grab a, grab a picture of a coil or something on his page that you really like. Repost it with the hashtag BlackCatFam. Hell yeah, Clinton. Clinton's in Australia, so this is like the, his morning. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken. Eh, sometimes you have to fail with grace. You know what I mean? Even if you don't get it, you just say, eh, I didn't get it. I'll get it next time. I made some damn... I tell you, I uh, took Juan's uh, lead today. I took a lead from Juan, and... Um, I made some really nice aliens today for the giveaways. Really nice, like perfect. I didn't fuck around with them at all. I took my time, got them all set up right. Went through them instead of just throwing my drill and hanging them down them. Didn't do that. Took my time, got them all done. They look really nice. So I was really happy with that. I had a really good day building today. Which is kind of funny because I was like, I'll do the alien stag tonight. Because I was like, I didn't miss any builds today while I was doing them. So I was like, I'll just fucking do the alien stag. I'll probably do really good at it. You know what I mean? Nah, it didn't count. Like, I took a break and got kind of tired and fucked it up. <laughs> Clean as fuck aliens, Giz. Clean as fuck aliens. Not to be confused with Freddy, who is clean as fuck coils, which all his coils are clean, but my aliens were very clean today. All right, guys, uh, so tonight, I don't know if no fucks vaping's on. I th if it is on, it will be on at 11 o'clock. That is on Tommy's channel. And, um, nah, it's okay, Freddy. You're all right. It does look like I was drunk. I, I was, ugh, I couldn't get my head, I, I was distracted. I think. I'll use that as an excuse. I was, I was distracted. Yeah. I don't have enough time to do it again, or I would. And do a good one. Yeah, so Tommy's on tonight. Um, and then Fresh is on? I believe Fresh is on at 9 o'clock. And Giz, are you guys on tonight? Is that tonight? I got it all written down over here. Let me look. Where is my sheet? I have a sheet with everybody's info on it that I reference. I hope I didn't lose it. I may have. Like I lose everything else in my life. I don't know. Is Giz... The vape team is on at 9. Yeah, vape team... So if you watch them, they're on at 9, and then you got uh, Friday night, you're on at 7.30, right? And then I'll talk about that tomorrow, though. All right, guys. Love you guys. Uh, have a fantastic night. Get ready for Friday. Big day today. Big day tomorrow on Friday. We have giveaways, and we're going to have, guess what we're going to have tomorrow? We're going to have winners! multiple winners and one of the winners is going to win Juan's care package which is fantastic there's no such thing as central time giz it's all scott time which is eastern time there's no central time you're stupid central that doesn't doesn't count on my show
<laughs> All right. Love you guys. You guys are in recovery. Stay, uh, stay strong. I promise I will too. See you tomorrow.